the radio goes right on. Okay. Now I turn it on. It takes just a few moments for the tubes to heat up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the BBC in London. In a world where owning a radio was strictly forbidden, one man found a way to bring good news to his people. He made it up. Yesterday, Churchill addressed the Polish people. In Polish? You want the latest news or don't you? Shh. Overnight, a few simple words... The Russians are at Pizanica. ...gave them a reason to hope. They're sending tanks. Tanks under massive air cover. What did he tell you about the front line? Has he heard anything about the stock market? And an ordinary man... Jacob Heim may not be the messiah, but he could be a prophet. ...became a leader. My name is Jacob Heim. The Jacob Heim? I beg you, destroy that radio before the Germans find out about it. I don't have a radio. Since Mr. Heim has shared information with us, there has not been a single suicide in the entire ghetto. You gotta hang on again. The Russians are 400 kilometers away. I think he tells these stories just to get attention. At least he's tried to give these people some hope. I started to make up those things. You must believe them. You'll never see the Russians, huh? Eh? What about them? That's a wonderful medicine you have. I admire what you're doing. I really do. Mr. Churchill, I would like you to bring us up to date on the events around Bizanica. Russians aren't coming, are they? Can I lie to you about something like that? It's going to take them to find our bodies. Well, probably never. She has a cell phone. Oh, and aren't you just the coolest? Can I help you with something? She must be from L.A. Well, so I want a roadblock between the town and the accident. Nobody gets in or out until we know exactly what we're dealing with. Looks like you're going to be staying a while. I have a huge audition tomorrow. You're my agent. I mean, can't you call the FBI and tell them who I am? So you act? Would I know who you are? I was nominated for Golden Gloves. Golden Gloves? Wow, that's great. So, so you box too? Samuel Goldwyn Films proudly presents a love story about carbonated beverages, roadside motels, orange baseball, and the world's largest ice cream cone. Say we all die like tomorrow. This is our last night. If there's one thing you could do right now. What would it be? And you die, girl, Brendan Sexton the Third, Kate Hudson, Christina Ricci, Casey Affleck, Sarah Gilbert, Desert Blue. Let's see those golden gloves. <laughs> Commanding officer of the Royal Naval College at Osborne, reporting the theft of a five shilling postal order was cashed by your son, Cadet Ronald Arthur Winslow, that they must therefore request you to withdraw your son from the college. If you did it, you must tell me. Did you steal this postal order? No, Father, I didn't. From acclaimed writer director David Mamet. The father's fight for his little boy's honor. Well, I venture to think the uh, case has rather wider implications than that. One can not sue the crowd. I intend to fight this monstrous injustice with every weapon at my disposal. Catherine Winslow. Robert Morton. I want the best. The best in this case is not Morton. Then why does everyone say he is? No one need ever have known about Oswald if you haven't shouted it out to the whole world. But isn't it already too late? Even if we throw up the case, would you still want to marry the Winslow girl? We'll have a blow over in time. I'm rather surprised that a case of this sort should interest you. My attitude has been the same as yours, a determination to win. 
at all costs. Our concern for the boy might perhaps tarnish the reputation of Lord Nelson. Sir Rob, just going to ask you a few questions which you must answer truthfully as you always have done. I suggest that by continuing to deny your guilt, you are causing great hardship to your family and considerable annoyance to high and important persons in this country. I didn't. You're a forger, a liar, and a thief. No, no, it isn't true. None of it's true. Oh yes, the boy is being innocent. Are we both mad, you and I? Tell me. Should we drop the whole thing? I don't consider that a serious question. Nigel Hawthorne, Rebecca Pigeon, Jeremy Northam, Gemma Jones, and Guy Edwards. The Winslow Boy. A toast to the happy pair. Doesn't it say, let right be done? Then we must endeavor to see that it is. The new film by David Mamet. I mean, the president. Kirsten Dunst and Michelle Williams in the almost true story of two girls. <sighs> so politically correct. Is it against the law to cut up the flag? Not if you sew it back together. They were destined to take over the White House. Getting those cookies. Before the president. Don't forget the walnuts, man. <laughs> Dick, get the cookies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pictures is proud to present over 100 of its most treasured films on video. 75 years of drama, action, romance, and laughter. Relive the movie memories of a lifetime. Columbia Pictures, for 75 years, lighting up screens around the world. 